You know, Jim, tonight's a very special night here at the Kansas Speedway. After more than 50 years, James Harvey Hilton will hang up his helmet as a driver. And earlier this week, I had a chance to go down to his race shop and sit down with him in Inman, South Carolina. My number one question was pretty simple. At age 79, how can you stay in great shape to be a race car driver? It has to be 24-7. Can't afford to be sick. 79 years old, they tell me you're not supposed to be in a race car, but I don't feel 79. Richard Petty and you had these incredible battles through the middle part of the 70s. Guess what? Richard Petty retired 21 years ago. It makes me feel good. It really does. No, I haven't won, um, you know, a lot of races. I didn't win a championship. How many people you know that lives his entire life racing what he wants to do? And that's what I want to do, race. And I've been able to do that my entire life and I've never had a public job, not for a week at a time or something. It's in, my, it's in my heart for the rest of my life. It's so cool to hear the stories from James Harvey Hilton, and as he climbs in a brand new race car tonight, this is a vehicle that was supplied by Empire Racing. They've got a Roush Yates engine, Hoosier tires donated. There's a lot of people in this Arca garage who have come together to support a great race car driver. Guess what, folks? You may not remember his career, but he finished second in the points in the Sprint Cup Series three different times, twice to Richard Petty. James Harvey Hilton will make his final ride tonight here at Kansas City. How about James Harvey Hilton? There it is. Start his engine for the final time. You know, he was a little emotional. I talked to him in the garage, and he said, this is what I've done all my life. I, I mean, I really love getting behind the wheel and driving, but he said, there is another chapter. I'm still going to be coming to the races. I just am going to be in a mentoring position and an owning position. And so many people came together to make this effort for him, his final effort, so special. And he's got a throwback paint scheme from yeah. back in the early 70s. Exact spectacular situation tonight. James Harvey Hilton making his final start. How about the 48? James Harvey Hilton back there making his final start in the Arkham Racing Series. Final start in stock cars. And at the driver's meeting earlier today, he was presented a, a, a trophy, more or less. It was a beautiful portrait that had different years, banners of different years that he had been racing and the different accomplishments that he had been able to achieve in his racing career. And Mike Helton, president of NASCAR, and, and Ron Drager, the president of ARCA, gave that to James Hilton at the driver's meeting. It was a very fitting tribute to a man who's been so instrumental in this sport. Yeah, and, and given his entire life, I mean, he, we talked to him at length in the garage area, and it, that's... He just wants to race and wants to be around racing and doesn't just because he's ending this part of his career at 79. Right. He doesn't want to stop. He wants to put a young driver in and keep going. Ray had mentioned earlier three times he finished second in the points championship. One time to David Pearson twice to Richard Petty he has had a phenomenal career. Uh, decided that ARCA racing was where he wanted to end his career and and he's been running with the ARCA series for quite some time now has put a lot of races in knew that he wasn't going to be out there winning races but the adrenaline of being behind the wheel and being out able to get out there and race just kept fueling him every day you know there's another guy that runs a number 48 his name is Jimmy Johnson yeah. he said he smiles every time he sees yeah. James Hilton driving that number 48